This is a direct message to the President of the United States of America. As seen in the two people that we have running for your job, I do not have any confidence in either one of these guys. I'm going to vote for one of these guys because of pressure. Yes, pressure. Pressure from the McCain people to piss me off enough to vote for Obama. But let me get back to what I want to ask you, Mr. President. And I want to be the first to say thank you for eight years of you know, your administration. So, Mr. Bush, before you leave, I would like to know, would you lobby the Japanese so we can build these water-driven cars in America? I've been mentioning this in about four or five videos that the Japanese have shown and proven to have driven a car on water. Us Americans are starved and addicted to the oil from your boys in the Middle East. Can you please lobby the Japanese for Americans to get the rights to build these cars so you can give us one great thing on the way out so you can make sure that your legacy was not marred in bullshit, drama, stress, war, haggling over basic human rights in our country and not someone else's. Could you please Mr. President of the United States of America, lobby the Japanese to get the rights to build their water cars so maybe we'll have a shot at being the first to buy them. Mr. President, would you please lobby the rest of the government to allow our farmers to farm before you go out? Mr. President, please. Would you demand of Congress to do something for the overwhelming rate of homeless people in our country? Please, Mr. President, save your name. Do something grandiose for the people on your way out. Instead of looking like some warmonger who did not give a damn about the people who in which make you the man that you are. Mr. President, Mr. Herbert Walker Bush W please will you help the people on your way out will you put forth a stimulus package that rivals the stimulus package you gave the banks Mr. President will you please help every American citizen regardless of color, race, gender. Mr. President, will you do something to save your administration on the way out? Will you give yourself a moral golden parachute? We need your moral golden parachute. And what I want to say is this, if you leave office and leave the American people in the state that you left them in. These people are screaming war crimes. I don't want to see you go up for some damn war crimes. You wasn't over there. You wasn't in Iraq. You didn't go to Afghanistan. Mr. President, can you help fix the problems? that were born before and after you got in office? Can you stimulize America with trust? Can you give us a way to take care of our families as you go home to be with yours? You have the power in these last 90 days to turn it all around. Someone says if the American economy crashes, what happens? I don't have to finish paying for this house. A house that was paid for. Banks don't have to pay what they owe. Let's 
Wipe the whole entire slate clean. Nobody owes nobody no money. And all of a sudden you give everybody some money. And what are they going to do? They're going to start the process again. Those who had no credit can go start again. The houses that people couldn't afford are now theirs. Money in the bank. Now people want to remodel that house. Once the market crashes and hits zero, nobody owes nobody no money. Zero debt. Then debt will start over again. Reset that debt clock. Kill all interests. Kill all balances. If you got money in the bank, leave it there. If you have no money in the bank, the government shall put some there for you. Start over. Start the clock over. Instead of worrying about things crashing, they have crashed. Start over. Exonerate debts. Wipe shit down to zero. Start over. You don't need to continue on this course. Start it over. The Great Restart, not a depression, a restart. Our economy has imploded. The money is shrinking down to its original number. When we create money out of air, eventually the room will be filled full of money and no air thus choking out the people who need to breathe. Rewind it back. Fiscal reset. No debt across the board. People have money in the banks. If you have money in the bank when you had no money before, you will go spend. The cycle will start over. Put a freeze on everything now. Eliminate all debt. Eliminate it. Exonerate all debt. If you're making money out of nothing, all of this will be a tax write-off for these big-ass companies. Bam. They got this one big tax write-off that will last them another thousand years. Eliminate the debt. Erase it. Call it done and start over fines will be paid everything will get paid job creation instantaneously will bloom when there's no debt you send people to work I don't owe nothing I'm gonna sell more of this I'm gonna sell more of that reset you ought to be resetting this money after 200 years anyway, or 70 years, or 100 years. Reset the economy. Start over. Start the stock market off at 100, 1,000. Keep going back up. We've crashed. Make this rock bottom exonerate debt so there won't be frustration mayhem in the streets. Electricity don't have to go off. People don't have to get fired. Oh, well, Mr. President, you got the power to make yourself. You got the power to forgive and forget. Who's going to give you that uh, amnesty? The American people will give it to you. Free us from all debt before you leave out. And everybody will be holding to you. You will go out on top. And you will not be looked at as the demon warmonger. You can fix it. You can offer to fix it. You've been tubed.